How will Jupiter and Capricorn speak to you and your sign? Find out at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of December 15, 2019. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing week it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out for us right now. And really one of the best things to take place this year. And in fact, one of the best things to take place as we move towards the end of December, really a beautiful alignment between Jupiter and Uranus. This is a rare trine that happens once every few years, about once every five years or so. And when it does take place, it represents breakthroughs and great luck. And what is started under this energy tends to have a momentum to reach far and wide for a very long time. This is an energy of brilliance and potential and possibility. I'm really so very excited about it. It, and it is happening right out of the gate as we start this week. With both of these planets in Earth signs, it can be a time of wonderful manifestations. Remember, Earth is practical. Jupiter in the sign of Capricorn is about success and ambition and life purpose. It is about creating a destiny that is uniquely your own. And then you add Uranus, well, the uniqueness factor goes right up. This is a sense of rumblings for some, but outward events for others. Now, regardless of whether you feel as if this is where, you know, you're not really having the breakthrough, but you think it might be there. Well, look, we are going to have very soon, in about 10 days time as we start this week, Christmas day is when we are going to have a solar eclipse. That is a tremendously fruitful solar eclipse happening conjunct Jupiter. I did speak about this in the monthly horoscope. I've spoken about it in the Jupiter special horoscopes as well, because it really is that special an energy. And this is the beginning. Like this is where the universe can start to put things into place that can really surprise you and bring wild opportunity very soon as we move further towards the end of this month. But for others still, this can be where that good news starts to find you. And wherever it is that you are wanting to be proactive and use this energy, I would encourage you to do that. Eclipses are not active energy. And what I mean by that is, look, they are active. Lots happens in our lives when there's an eclipse. But I mean, they are not energy that you are necessarily actively engaging. They ask for you to be receptive, to be open, to see where it is that the universe wants to align you with a higher, more loving vision for your life, or at least bring you back into alignment. If it is that you've gone off the path, whether slightly or dramatically, it is eclipses that bring you back on that path of a higher, more loving vision for your life. Well, with Jupiter, there's so much fortune and blessing and possibility. With Jupiter trine Uranus, as we have now, well, this really is that sense of what is happening now is good. What is happening now is giving us ourselves and nothing less than ourselves. What is happening now is helping to us to uncover what is true for us, what is an authentic expression for us, and to live it and to capitalize on it. Really, this Capricorn Jupiter, that is about capitalizing on whether it is what you've done in the past, your successes and building on them, or experiencing even new successes. That is what we are encouraged to do under this energy. It is Uranus right now in the sign of Taurus that has that sense of making money to it as well, because Taurus is a sign that speaks to banking and it speaks to money and currency as well. Now, interestingly, the sign of Scorpio, the opposite sign to Taurus, uh, speaks to financial institutions like big banks. It speaks to credit cards and loans and things like that. And it is this spectrum ultimately that is about resources, uh, the inner resources, the emotional, the spiritual, and the practical that we feel we have available to us. Well, with Uranus and Taurus, trine Jupiter in Capricorn, it is when we dream big and when we aim high that those inner and outer resources surprise us 
in the way and the speed with which they fall into place. I personally do believe that this uh, conversation, Jupiter trine Uranus, is one of the more big fortunate energies that does take place in the sky. Again, it is somewhat rare. And I would say, even if you are starting this week and you're not necessarily, again, being proactive with it, that really is okay. Just be open, right? Listen, whether you wanna to listen to yourself or listen to your life, or, you know, pay attention to what's happening around you. These can go a very long way towards helping you to uncover not only a truth within yourself, but really the truth of the fortune and the good luck and the possibilities and the wild gains that could be available to you, not only now, but over the course of this month. It really is that important and that encouraging of a time. But do keep this in mind as well, as we navigate later into the week, right around Friday is when we are going to have Mercury speaking in a conversation of tension with Neptune. Now this conversation, well, it tends to be uh, one where we feel like we've stepped into Mercury retrograde, if only for just a moment. Uh, with the uh, full moon we recently had in the sign of Gemini, it might have felt like that as well, uh, but it really is Mercury and Neptune that in some ways are gonna continue that feeling or that energy. Uh, and so there's this sense of, on the one hand, we're being brilliant and having new ideas and uh, feeling a sense of uh, forward movement in mind, in thought, but also in practical ways as well. But at the same time, we have that energy there that feels a little bit free flowing, feels a little bit like maybe we may not be thinking of things clearly. Sometimes this just means we are asked to acknowledge our own fears or our own doubts or our own insecurities. But most often it is just a thought that comes and then it goes. And it is ultimately the very encouraging step, the encouraging news, the encouraging uh, creative idea that we have with a week like this, especially as we start this week, that has the truth of the great potential that we hold available to us. I would also say though, that with Mercury squaring Neptune in the second half of the week, if you have a choice and if you can help it, it might not be the time to sign contracts or agreements. It might not be the time to really solidify very important plans, things like travel plans as well. Again, if you can help it, it's not always the case and that really is okay. But if it is that you do have a choice and you wanna engage the sky, just give yourself a little bit of breather. There may be key details there that can easily be overlooked when you're in that moment, when you've dipped back into a Mercury retrograde, if only for a moment. Elsewhere in the sky, right around Thursday, we will have a beautiful alignment between Mars and Saturn. Mars right now is continuing to move through the sign of Scorpio. It is the ancient ruling planet of this sign, which means that Mars is in a place of strength, but in a place of wisdom, able to bring forward its sense of a deep perception and that much more meaningful action. With Saturn speaking in harmony in a type of conversation that astrologers call a sextile, um, this particular Saturnian and Mars energy together can help us to not only focus strategically and understand what's worth focusing on, but also have the big picture in mind. It is the actions we take now that have maturity, that have that much more wisdom to them. But this is also healthy restraint, like restraint that pays off. So whether it is that we are in a particular moment and our intuition is asking us to uh, navigate it with some finesse and some timing, we are able to summon that in ways that are truly extraordinary with energy like this. What can also happen with this is that we take action. We understand like, okay, who's the boss? Who's the gatekeeper? Where is it that if I focus, if I pay my attention here, if I take an action, 
Is it gonna help me to secure my future? Or who is it that actually is gonna help me to go up the ladder, whatever your chosen or proverbial ladder is? Well, we're able to identify it and we're able to commit to that course of action and see it through. With Saturn, there is the sense of longevity as well. So it isn't just about an action we're taking now, but a sense of what we are committing to for the long run. At the same time though, it is the action we take now that in some way can continue to bless us well into the future. So that longevity factor can work a couple of different ways, but regardless, this tends to be a fortunate energy. It allows us emotional restraint. It allows us focus on what really matters to us what we are responsible for, what it is that we really want in the big picture of our life. And it allows us to connect with that truth within and that truth being the guide to that much more effective action. Right around Friday, Venus will change signs as well, moving into the eclectic energy of Aquarius. I am so looking forward to this. Venus has been moving through the sign of Capricorn for the last four weeks. And during that time, our love and fashion even expression uh, is more focused on the classical, the tried and true. And it tends to be the case that even in terms of our appearance and the uh, particular styles that are celebrated, there tends to be not necessarily a minimalism, but more like a timelessness to our expression. Well, in the sign of Aquarius, that flips right on its head. Uh, fashion choices become especially eclectic. Uh, and we are willing to take a lot more chances and to express rebellion in how it is that we express ourselves. At the same time though, with this energy being about love, Venus being goddess of love, well, even our love choices can surprise us at this time. Uh, it is also possible, culturally speaking, that we have some examples of that on the world stage where people make some love choices that really feel as if they are uh, dramatically different types of people, or it can feel as if we are interested in people that maybe we hadn't necessarily considered before. So sometimes these differences can be kind of superficial, right? Like we find ourselves attracted to someone uh, with very different characteristics, uh, whether it is facial characteristics or whether it is their ethnicity or background that's different than what we have been attracted to before, uh, or whether it is, and what I find with this energy especially, is that it is about ideas, it is about mind, and it is about being attracted to somebody's mind that takes place at this time. And as a part of that, because this energy is so fast moving, it is so brilliant, we can also see very dramatic uh, differences in age showing up in particular couplings at this time, including the people that we find ourselves uh, drawn to or wanting to cultivate a romance with. I would also add with this though, that this can be an energy that is fun. Love gets light here, where love in Venus with Capricorn, well, that energy can be very, um, so focused on the big picture that it can feel so consequential as we meet somebody new because we are focused on the long term that much more and our love expressions are guided by that. But Venus in Aquarius is all about this moment. It's about enjoying ourselves, being light. And that can be a really great space in which to just have fun, to experience love wherever we are, to experience platonic love with our acquaintances, to understand that in this moment, if you're with somebody and you are being loving, that is an experience of love and that is a lot. And you would be amazed if you move through your community and especially if it is that you live in a big city, Really, there are so many opportunities there to experience love, to give and to share, to validate another person, to feel seen by another person as well. There's always the opportunity there to have moments that are meaningful. 
and moments that move you towards your own heart. Venus in Aquarius can also encourage us to get more involved in our community or in a cause, to get involved in group endeavors, or to just spend more time with our friends and in those spaces to experience joy and to experience fun to experience an awakening of heart, yes, but pleasure as well. What I love about this week for us, well, of course, it's Jupiter trying Uranus. That is such a rare and fortunate and exciting vibration. Uh, wherever it is that you are in your life, I would encourage you to enjoy and to tap into this energy in some way. It could be personal, it could be professional. Regardless though, this rare alignment is one of luck, it is one of success, it is one of prosperity as well. And wherever it is in your life that you're hoping for any, a little, or a lot of either one of these, well, with a week like this, the universe certainly has our back. Well, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. What do you love about this week? Let me know in the comments below. I love reading you guys. And of course, if you want to know how all this wonderful stuff this week speaks to you and your sign, log on to NadiaShaw.com. Sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. And I just very recently published the 2020 and Jupiter and Capricorn year ahead video. I hope you absolutely enjoy that. Um, I talked about it for the collective and there's preview horoscopes there for the Jupiter special horoscopes, uh, the decade ahead horoscopes I mentioned as well. In that video, I do talk quite a bit as well about Uranus and Jupiter. So you can hear even more about that there if you want to. Um, and in alignment with this beautiful Jupiter Uranus energy, I have such big news to share with you guys that really, I tell you, I was so happy. I cried for like two days. For two days, I was emotional from gratitude, really. It was just pure gratitude, and I really can't thank you enough. Um, because of you, because of your pre-orders of uh, The Body and the Cosmos, my latest book, my book debuted as a number one new release in its category in the new age astrology category on amazon and i thank you thank you so much this is a, it is a huge moment for me a career milestone if you will and i cried for two days i kid you not i really did i was just so moved and i just thought about how you know i just thought about how just doing what it is that's right for you to do can be more than enough to get you wherever it is that the universe needs to get you to. And um, thank you. I'm so grateful for your trust. I'm so grateful for you. I'm so grateful for the people who love the book, uh, the many, many people of you who purchased it. Thank you. Please do be sure, if you have read the book, uh, to leave your honest and positive uh, review on Amazon as well. I would appreciate that. And, uh, and thank you, just thank you. Thank you for giving me a number one new release. Like what? I couldn't believe it. I was just, uh, yeah, it was a very, very beautiful thing. Thank you so much. And I hope that you continue to enjoy it. And if you haven't read The Body and the Cosmos yet, the ebook version, the hard copy version, all of that is available everywhere, all over online, not just on Amazon, but you can find it lots and lots of different spaces and places. And so please do pick it up. Let me know what you think. I hope you love it because it really is a bit of a shift for me in that this book talks about uh, meditation, really. I just love the way in which uh, this book is about experiencing the entirety of the cosmos within you. And I go through each sign exploring its spiritual and physical connection. And then I invite you to feel it for yourself through meditations. And I have meditations for each sign in the book. And of course, the guided meditations are available on my website as well. And, uh, and just thank you to those of you who have read it, who have purchased it. Thank you to those of you who will. And thank you for making it a hit. Thank you for giving uh, this person me. <laughs> thank you um, for just being a part of so many 
big, big blessings in my life. I, I just can't thank you enough. So thank you for this incredible milestone <laughs> in my career. I appreciate it so much. And I have another incredible milestone to share as well. And that is, well, one of them is that I have a new book coming out. So advanced copy sales are only available in December. So we just got another two weeks of this. My next book already is ready and shipping is going to take place uh, right around January 31st. So at the very end of January is when shipping for my next book, Prayers to the Sky, to know and to love the planets more deeply is going to take place. And this is also a dream come true as well, because I have wanted to put together uh, a book that helps people to understand uh, the planets more personally and to connect with them on an emotional level and on a spiritual level because astrology is a spiritual practice uh, for me and it is uh, this book that has uh, a first an exploration a written exploration of the archetype and I talk about the sacred energy I use examples of uh, different gods and goddesses and divine energies of, as humanity has understood them uh, to explore this energy. And then I have a prayer for each of the planets as well, or an affirmation you could call it. And what I'm starting to do, I'm really feeling like I want to include meditations as well. So that's what I'm focused on right now because I know I got a little bit more time before this book goes to print. The book goes to print in early January. And so because I got a little bit more time, I'm like, yeah, you know, because meditation is such an important part of how I connect with the sky. And so uh, there's going to be meditations for the different planets and there will be uh, these affirmations in there, these prayers in there. And hopefully, I do believe it is by knowing and loving the planets more deeply in the sky more deeply that we are better. Like we're better in terms of how we know ourselves to understand how all these planets within us are ultimately part of our unique and sacred expression in this world. We are an expression of the divine in this world. And I believe that astrology is a reflection of that. It shows us that in the chart. And so I hope my book affirms that philosophically, but also helps you in very practical ways, right? In these uh, practical understandings of the correspondences and the meditations and the prayers helps you to cultivate this relationship that is ultimately a relationship with yourself. And so yes, two weeks left to uh, purchase that advanced copy directly from me on my website, NadiaShaw.com. It comes with free gifts. So one of the free gifts is a table of correspondences. I'll have a preview uh, for that um, sometime this month. So that's just a handy little insert that allows you to very quickly understand the different correspondences of the planets to the different uh, divine expressions, the different stones, the colors, the candles, the herbs, all of that. So you have that handy. And the other thing is a series of classes. So I'm going to be doing in 2020, starting in February, a series of classes every month at the new moon uh, where we're going to get together online and we are going to meditate together we're going to have our prayer together and this is going to be about 30 minutes it's also going to allow you to ask me questions based on the planet that we're looking at for that month so it's kind of like a study group is what it is and so if you purchase the advanced hard copy uh, you will get to partake partake in the study group and i'm still thinking about uh recording some guided meditations. I may end up doing that as well. But for now, I can promise you uh, the insert, which is valued at $10, and uh, the classes. The class pass is also for sale for $60. And you get those as free gifts for purchasing the advanced copy of my next book, Prayers to the Sky. And again, I hope you absolutely love it. Now, the other very big news, another milestone moment for me that I am just, um, I'm so excited, I'm so speechless, I'm so grateful to you guys as well. I am coming to New York City. Yes, I have a very surprise, uh, surprise for you guys that I'm gonna be in New York City very, very soon on January 21st, immediately following my cruise. I'm gonna get off my cruise and I'm gonna go right to New York City and uh, be with you guys at the Theosophical Society of New York, a very prestigious 
uh, historical organization, uh, place, right? A very special place in New York City and in the whole theosophical movement in the world. And I am just like, I'm just overcome. It's just such an honor to be speaking there. Uh, and thank you to Gotham Astrology for bringing me out to New York, for wanting me to speak there and to be speaking in that space, that historical and important space of a uh, spiritual understanding and an integrated understanding of spiritual traditions uh, that I hold very near and dear to my heart. Like it's just, um, again, it's just one of those moments that, it feels like this very important moment milestone for me. So I hope that you will uh, join me in New York City. Tickets are selling super fast. I think 50% of the early bird tickets have already sold out, which means a third of all tickets available have already sold out. And it just was announced on Instagram a couple of days ago. So just in the first three, four days, so many tickets have gone already. This event is expected to sell out in advance. And you also get a discount, especially if you sign up for the early bird, you get a discount on my book. If you order it uh, in advance, when you purchase your ticket, as well uh, whether it is my first book astrology realized or my second book uh, the body and the cosmos those will be available at a discounted rate to those who order it with their tickets or at the event I'll have a few copies available there as well so I hope that you'll join me if you're anywhere in the tri-state area I would love to be with you in cold New York in January I can't believe I'm doing this I have loved uh, living a life without winter for the most part for the last seven years living in Cancun um, but I will be in New York in January January 21st and you know all this wonderful stuff is happening with Jupiter and Uranus so as I said this is some really good energy I'm tapping into it and the universe is responding to that tapping into uh, itness and uh, this amazing opportunity has come up and it just really means a lot to me and I would love to celebrate with you this is my first time speaking in the tri-state area as a professional astrologer uh, and wow, to start at such an incredible uh, space and location just means so much to me. So thank you for that. And thank you to everybody who's already bought tickets. I'm looking forward to meeting you in person and to those who I will meet there. Thank you as well. Now events, I've got other big events coming up as well. One of the big events is happening in South Florida in Fort Lauderdale uh, with the South Florida NCGR group. Thank you so much to them for hosting me on January 11th, 9.30 a.m. There is a book launch party. Or is it 9 a.m.? It's really, it's in the a.m. It is early. Uh, I will be at my book launch party for the body and the cosmos that is free to attend. I will have books on hand uh, to sign as well. I'll be taking selfies. You don't have to buy a book if you don't want to. Just show up and that would be really nice. I would love that. Uh, and it's just a party, a morning party with cupcakes. And then we are going to have a talk and that is uh, from Earth to Air, the 2020s. I'll be talking about that in the morning. And then in the afternoon, there is a workshop on past lives in the astrology chart. We'll have a lot of fun over the course of the day. If you wanna stay for one part, you wanna stay for all of it, you would be very welcome to join me in South Florida. And then I will jump on a cruise, right? Uh, we just got three last minute signups. So even now, less than a month away, people are still signing up. They're following their inspiration and they're doing this. So we've got about 70 people in total that are joining us as part of this group. And we may have a few more as well. Well, maybe it's somebody out there maybe it's one of you uh, who will join us but if you want to learn more about that go on to my website nadiashaw.com I am so passionate about this cruise it is about you know this is gonna happen under the light of Saturn conjunct Pluto in the sky and on the first night we're gonna be on the deck I will bring a hor uh, not a hor I'll bring a horoscope with me yes but a telescope and we will uh, look at this conjunction in the sky and we are gonna meditate under the night sky as well and I really think that there's so much hyper earth energy with uh, this not only Saturn and Pluto conjunct at that time, but all the other energy happening with it. Uh, there's gonna be the Sun there and Mercury there and the asteroid Ceres there. 
All of that is happening at the same time as I spoke of in the 2020 uh, horoscope video that was just published as well here on YouTube. And it'll be so great to be in the middle of the ocean. I'm like, let's get away from land and earth and let's be in the middle of water because what we are going to need as a collective is water. We are going to need that sense of the compassion and the intuition and the emotion that water represents. And so, yeah, let's do it and let's have fun as well, right? Yes, there is all kinds of activities that we're doing as a group, um, but then there's all kinds of activities on the ship as well. So I think every single moment is gonna be so much fun. And then, as I said, I get off the boat and I go right to New York City. And then the next time I start getting really active is gonna be in the spring, I'm just gonna get a little bit of a breather and then in the spring, things kick up for me again in terms of traveling. Well, even before then, because in January, uh, I am going to have the winter session of Synchronicity University starting online. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, I will link to that below. That's online, it's six weeks. We'll be talking about Venus and Pluto and Jupiter. We'll be talking about chart rulerships and lunar mansions all topics that you guys asked for. I hope you absolutely love all of those classes and I look forward to meeting you guys online in class. And then I will go in March to uh, Istanbul. And then in April, I will be in Bangkok. And then in May, May is very busy. Uh, I have quite a few events going on. And uh, one of the events is in Toronto with Astrology Toronto. Another is in Seattle with the NORAC conference and then Las Vegas, Nevada. I will be back there with the Stargazers uh, NCGR group. So lots coming up September in Colorado. Yeah, I'm gonna be busy. I was just thinking about that like, oh, I'm gonna miss my dog Biggie so much. I'm gonna miss him, but I know that uh, it's a great life and I thank you. The other two announcements I have, the final two announcements, uh, one of them includes my friend Katie Weber, who I absolutely love. She is a world-renowned feng shui expert, and every single year she comes out with her success pack, uh, the feng shui success pack. She has one out now for the 2020 year of the rat, and I completely love her work. I mean, I swear by it. She has helped me so much. She's helped me grow in so many different areas of life and I started out as her client and I really came to see how well she knows her stuff and now I consider her a friend. But I actually have a consultation booked with her like in a couple of days. So I'm really looking forward to that to look at what's coming up in 2020 from a feng shui perspective. She really is the best. And so I can't recommend her enough if it is that you are so inclined to see more of what it is that she does and to learn more about 2020, the year of the rat from a feng shui perspective, have a look at the links in the description down below. Now my final bit of news has to do with the charity raffle that is taking place right now, right now. All the money raised is gonna go to charity and even more. I promise I'm gonna be putting in even more. Uh, I'll be giving you guys a total final breakdown of how much money we've raised together and then how much more I am adding. And uh, this is an organization that I actually donate to on a monthly basis. Uh, and they are called bestfriends.org. And what they do is they uh, specialize in um, rehoming and rehabilitating animals who have experienced trauma. So whether it is uh, trauma in terms of abuse, whether it's environmental trauma, they take in all kinds of animals um, in order to help them to heal, really, and it is a space of healing that they have created. They have a documentary out about their work called Champions. I saw it on Netflix and I just felt such a connection to the work that they do uh, and I feel very passionately about it. So if it is that you are so inclined, have a look to learn more about them, but more so, Lots and lots of prizes are being given out. So many incredible people, astrologers and more have donated their time, their skill, their money. Um, and I just appreciate it so much. Well, maybe not their money, but their products. Uh, and me as well, I'm donating a bunch of signed copies to my latest book, The Body and the Cosmos, and uh, lots of classes and class passes for Synchronicity University and more. 
uh, special horoscopes as well. So there are just so many prizes that are available um, and so many incredible people who are offering their talent, their services, their products that I, I just could not be more grateful to their generosity. And so I will continue to share who these people are through my newsletter and you can sign up for that. But really a ticket is $1, just $1 gets you a chance to win uh, a prize worth much, much more. I think the most expensive prize being donated is uh, valued at $1,500, which is a, um, an apprenticeship program. Uh, Adam Ellenbass, I believe off the top of my head, I think that that is the one. Uh, and really, you know, these astrologers, you've seen them on my channel, you know how brilliant they are. All the astrologers that you do see on my channel, the people that you see, uh, they are people that I believe in. Like I reach out to them and I say, hey, I saw your work. Sometimes I know them, they're my friends. Sometimes I've just seen their videos online uh, in passing, maybe on Facebook or something, or I've seen them you know, doing a live and speaking into a camera. And I said, that person, I want that person on my channel. So you know that these are really talented, uh, brilliant astrologers who are offering their time, their energy, their money. So I hope that you will give it a chance. I hope that you'll consider investing just $1. Like I said, it goes to a really good cause. It goes to charity and you also have a chance to win uh, and get a whole lot in return. You get karmic rewards and then you might get some other rewards in the prizes that you win. So having a charity raffle is something I've wanted to do for such a long time. And so I'm, it's finally being put out there. And, um, and thank you. Thank you to all the people who've already donated and to the people who will donate. December is the month of the donations and the prizes slowly and surely will start to go out as well. Over 50 prizes on offer. What? Uh, and really good prizes too. So I hope that you will join me uh, in this charity raffle. You can buy tickets and learn more about that on my website, NadiaShaw.com. And, uh, and thank you. Thank you so much in advance for all that you do and all the ways in which you are part of blessings, not only in my life, but of course, part of us continuing to pay it forward uh, in the lives of others as well. Thank you so much. Thank you for being a part of this moment for me, this very big moment. And um, just all the ways in which I feel and I've been reminded with a week like this, of how much you as my audience, as my friends and my fans and my superstars, how many infinite blessings you have sent my way. Thank you with all my heart. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving me a number one new release on Amazon. I'm so grateful for it. And thank you. Thank you for watching uh, for right now. So I'm sending you my love. I'm sending you my gratitude and until we connect again and we will connect again very soon it'll be a great week enjoy